Hi, my name is Rachel. That is the R in the RK Stumbling Bear, and I'm a reader and a writer. And welcome back to another weekly wrap up. It's been a while since I've filmed here, so I'm just gonna jump into it. finished two novellas this week. I first finished Nebula Vibrations by Annie Carl. I heard about this novella from Kristen over at Kristen LSFF Reader and I loved it. It follows Mary who is woken up on a spaceship, has no clue how she got there, finds out that she had been kidnapped, and then the descendants are waking her up to help them with the first contact with another alien race. And the reasons for why they are waking her up come out and she's not very happy with one, being kidnapped, and two, being expected to be a savior for the descendants of the people who have kidnapped her. I mean, it's all logical and legitimate, right? Like, this is a short novella, so I'm not going to go into anything more, but I, I love this. The character of Mary was a lot of fun, especially because from the beginning, she gives no fucks. She's just like, nope, this is how I feel, and you are going to feel my wrath even if you're not the actual person who kidnapped me. And I love how the conclusion works. It's bittersweet, but it's nice. And then the second novella that I have finished is Sisters of the Forsaken Stars by Lena Rather, and this is number two in Our Lady of the Fortunate Stars series. I think I got that wrong. I'll put the actual name here down below. The first book was Nuns in Space. This is what happened after the events of the first one and how the nuns are coping. A few of them are having a crisis of faith. Not necessarily faith in God, but faith in their purpose and what they had known before and how the events of the first book has changed their knowledge and they're dealing with that. At the same time, we get a little slice of an ex-nun and I was really kind of wanting more of her story. So while I really enjoyed this novella, I kind of wish that we had had the main group of nuns together as a story and then the second story flushed out more and as a separate novella happening concurrently. I think that would have been fantastic and I'm hoping that there are going to be more of these novellas and especially since things have definitely heated up in the political framework of everything. And then I am still reading The Trellis by Jules Cantor. I am on chapter 30 of 39. Should be finishing this soon. Really enjoying it. I, I believe this post-apocalyptic world, then a lot of the post-apocalyptic or dystopian YA I had read as a child, I can see where this could actually be plausible, and that's pretty damn scary. But I am enjoying it. And then after I finish The Trellis, I'm going to be picking up Melody by David Hoffer. That's going to be my next self-published science fiction contest read. And then I'm also hoping to pick up An Unnatural Life by Aaron Wagner. This is my Buzz word -a -thon read for the month of January. That prompt was Life or Death. And I'm excited that I found a sci-fi version of that prompt. So not a lot of pile of possibilities this week because I, I need to finish the books for the self-published science fiction contest. That is my main focus with maybe a little bit of extra reading stuff on the side. <laughs> writing wrap up. So last weekend I was attending the Flash Fiction Live that Natalie Locke and Chandra Arthur put on and they're now revising past Flash Fictions that they have done but they still had a Flash Fiction prompt. The prompt that they had given it wasn't so much like a it, it's more like words that you have that's their prompt and it caught my imagination and so I'm using that as my short story for the month of January that I that I am working on. However depression is real and I haven't really written otherwise this week, but I'm feeling better. So I'm hoping that this next week I will go into a better week. And then for other media, since we finished Andor last week, I've just kind of been taking it easy doing more reading actually. 
and then I started rewatching Warehouse 13. I've only seen, I think, the first three seasons because the original platform I was watching it on years ago didn't have all the seasons. So now I'm rewatching it to get caught up so then I can watch the rest of them. And I'm watching that one on Prime. The version they have has ads, but guess what? I'm an 80s and 90s kid. I grew up with television having ads. So these ads don't bother me. I'm still getting the content that I'm interested in. Short and sweet for this wrap up. Um, for announcements, kind of for what you can expect from me coming up, I will have my 2022 best novelettes and short stories video. There will be a book review for these Prisoning Hills by Christopher Rowe. It's already filmed. I just need to edit it. And then I will be doing a wrap-up of my Buzzword-a-thon challenges from last year and then giving you my what I'm going to use for my Buzzword-a-thon prompts this year. And as you've seen, this is the one I'm doing for January. If you do Buzzword-a-thon, let me know down below. Let me know the prompt that you're using for January. I'd love to hear about it. Thank you and have a great day. <music>